in on the fun, right, Momo? Yeah, there's Momo. Um, where the heck am I? Okay, there's the activity feed. There we go. Um, oh, is that a good family Thanksgiving or an oh god, just get through it family Thanksgiving, Cloudcraft? Hoping the former. <laughs> Meredith, that's how I pack too. I actually have a semi-go bag with like toiletries and stuff. I have doubles of everything. So then it's just close, 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 close. Back, back uh, in like my full-blown cosplay days, um, it, uh, it was all about try to minimize the personal stuff you have to pack, more room for costumes. The worst thing that ever happened to cosplayers was extra bag fees. So uh, let's get in. I'm going to do something a little different today. I'm uh, going to, first of all, the angle's different, right, Momo? Yeah. Momo's on new good drugs, right, for his nose? Two days ago, he had, like, green snot coming out of both nostrils. My packing got cut off by ads. Uh, um, uh, two days ago, Momo had, like, green snot coming out of both his nostrils, so we put him on antibiotics because that's an indication of a secondary sinus infection. Um but, uh, yeah, so he's doing better now. Um, hey, Valis. Um, so what I'm going to do is I wrote down some, uh, some save files I have. And I'm going to show you guys some um, story points in Death Stranding. Because I think they're kind of important to understanding the game. And I know a lot of this particular game um streaming is about me playing the game because you guys don't plan to um if you do want to play the game after this i recommend it because the game is still fun even if you know what's happening the actual gameplay itself i think is really really good so um i'm gonna go back to like this is the um well actually it's just a different angle of the room right mo see there's et still the same room um, but, uh, okay, this is not it. 24th. Okay. Um, so there we are. Um, so like, like I'm saying, the, the experience of it won't be spoiled by this stuff because the experience is the experience. Um, I don't think there's any way to spoil this game. It's, uh... Oh, yeah? Okay, good. Hollow Knight. I know I've got the Darkness I promised to play and Hollow Knight. So those two are the, uh... And I gotta get through uh, Unavowed at some point because Dave Gilbert's promised to come on the stream at some point to talk about the game. But that is an Apple IIc in the background. Good eye. Um, so, Momo, can you sit on my lap like a BB? What's in it for you? Cuddles are in it for you. Well, I'm on the corner of the chair. And, oh, you're a good counterweight. But, yeah, exactly, Des. You, you kind of know what you're in for going in. But this is part of the reason I save these save points. Because these moments are so peak Kojima. Um, and we'll go back. Peak Momo. Right, Momo? Right? We discovered Momo really likes this. Really likes this chair setup. Because then he can sit like a BB. While he's, uh... While I'm playing the game. Um, oh, you want to sit next to me still? Okay. That's okay. You want to sit next to me. All good. Moral support. Okay. Alright, so... How do I trigger this? I think... Take a look outside. Alright, dump all your gear. But the... Uh, Yeah, I've heard it's really good. Um, I've played um, some of Wadjet Studios' um, uh, less, um, uh, sorry, older games. I wasn't familiar with uh, Unavowed. Um, and people have just been raving about it. And so it's like, all right, that's one to try. And also, Dave's like a really nice guy, personally. So, um, um, it's, uh, 
I, I like to, um... I like to support people who are good people as well as being good game designers. I, I too have, um, vicarious pain for poor Sam's back. Don't need a hematic grenade either. Don't need a bola gun. These are all, um, you know what? Even the container repair spray isn't, uh, I don't think that keeps either. I think only the stuff in the utility pouch keeps. So all this is going to go. Doesn't matter because I'm just going to jump saves when I stop doing this. But uh, here we go. The cool thing about this is it's really exciting. Beginning scan. Have a yeah, it. I didn't expect this to have such a Metal Gear, Gear feel to it. I admit. But here we go. Shit's going down. BB knows bad's coming. And the Odra deck isn't supposed to happen that way. That's actually a Kafka reference. I was so excited to find that out. Whee, there he goes! He's going to Oz! And this moment... Is Lycaeus here? Because this moment is very darknessy. Is this actually going to be a good tie-in to the darkness? Because this moment is very, very like the darkness. Odradek, the... Uh, oh, there's Lycaeus. Um, uh, Odradek is a reference um, in Kafka. The Odradek is the, um, the scanning equipment that you carry on your back. That's what it's called. But like Chaos, you're gonna be able to vouch that this this level that we're going to here is very, very, very like the darkness. I'm a big fan of, of Kafka, but of course I read it in translation, so. It's apparently a word he used for a near-death experience. And I love that this was clearly actors doing it because they're not totally in sync. And yes, that is a naked Mads Mikkelsen. Yep, there you go, Cloudcraft. That's what I said, this is very Metal Gear. But this is also very much like the, um, the flashback uh, flashback sequences in the darkness once we get into the gameplay. And this is what all those BB flashbacks were leading up to. Mads Mikkelsen naked and puking. And a creepy freaking doll! I love that things made for children are now the universal symbol for freaking creepy. Like, this is beautifully choreographed. Instead of rendering it, it's actual people. And the lack of perfection just for some odd makes some odd reason makes it more beautiful. I really like that choice. Double symbol. So I was wrong, he's not like a mob guy, he's a combat veteran. Yeah, wait till we get to the gameplay, uh, like chaos. It's so darknessy. Here we go. Yeah, no kidding, Des. Except in this game, laughing means BB's thinks you the funny. The first time I played this... Oh, shit. Okay. The first time I played this, I had all my gear with me, and it really friggin' sucked. Oh. There's some gear. 
What the hell? Oh, there's my handgun. Yeah, that's what we want. And we just run. Yeah, sorry I got started late. Whoa! I forgot about that. So you got started late. We were dealing with issues. Not our issues. Somebody else's issues, but issues nonetheless. This has just been a fall for people losing their shit. Yeah, cause cause of the uh, deafness. Totally. Okay, I gotta find a safe place to pacify BB. Cause it's funny. I didn't get blown up this time, th this much the last time. There, yeah, let's eat a crypto biote. And I think this is a relatively safe place to pacify. Oh, no, that's strictly a YouTube thing. No problem with Twitch in that regard. It's okay, BB. It's okay. And the thing I think is interesting about this is this is an outcome-based choice. You're not just soothing the kid because, oh, he's a little baby. You're soothing him because if he gets too stressed out, he can't detect BTs. Which is dark and creepy and turns a baby into body horror, which I like a lot. So BB is chill now, so he can continue to work like a good little slave. I think it's funny they went with like a World War One vibe here instead of a World War Two. Because obviously World War Two is the the big defining war in uh, Japanese history. Now we use the tank as a shield. No, you gotta eat bugs to get buffs. There's a, whoop, there's a lot going on here. Um, like, this is the game, whoa! Uh, this is the game more than I think any of the Uncharted games that really shows what the PS4 can do. It's a more powerful system than people gave it credit for, which I think is interesting because they put it together so fast. shows that despite all the critics, Kojima does know what he's doing. You find out. But this is the part I'm like, oh, this is so the darkness. Oh, hi, Aislin. You missed Na Naked Mad Mickelson. I will make sure to show some shower scenes for you. Like, this is such symbolism to what happened to this character. I think it is, I think it is sort of world, it's World War One y But this is, uh... This is not... Real, per se. I think it's very interesting they went with World War One. I. I think so they could get these trenches. Because he wanted to do a maze level. I'm astounded. I was expecting it to be a lot messier based on how quickly he put it together. Um, it's a pretty complete game for how quickly it was done. Now, I think that's because a lot of it was just Metal Gear gameplay with a new, ex with a new excuse. But still, it's a pretty tight game for the development cycle. But it's World War I with assault weapons. And this is his Japanese displacement in art. Hey, super arrogant. And so now we play cat and mouse. Like assault rifles didn't exist in World War One, So it's an interesting sort of like horror scape kind of thing.
And there's the mustard gas. And I think this is also just a way to get players to unload after all the tension was built up. That he knew you had to let people kill shit at some point. You had to do the build up and then the release. You couldn't just have all build up. So I thought this was pretty clever in terms of game pacing. Yeah, they didn't look like. And, and these are like super, like like, 3D printed assault weapons. So it's not intended to be historically accurate, it's intended to be a metaphor. That was a dirty kill, but I'll take it. Oh, it's behind me. I love how a fetus is telling me where to shoot. It's- this is actually a lot of fun. The first time around, I was like, what is going on? But it wasn't like terrifying, it was a good kind of intense. Shit. Where are you telling me to go? Oh, he's here! Shit! Fuck. Uh, shotgun. Yeah. Blam! Enemy sight. Sorry, Mads Mickelson. And the, uh... The weapons balance is actually pretty great, too. Again for a game that was put together so quickly. Very, very impressive. Like, I don't know how anybody can doubt Kojima's skills as a game dev after this. Cause fuck me, he put this together fast. So you see what he's saying? I can't remember. So it's like Buddy has been put in as a tool as well. I never came up here before. Oh, I'm up above. Oh, this is going to be super cheapness. Uh-oh. Only six shots. And I have to shift to the shotgun. Oh! BB, make up your mind! That way. Oh, hey! Bye. Shot him in the ass! Oh, he's still there. Whoa! Easy, bud! We friends! We have a kid together! Shit. Bye. Ow! Fuck me. That never happened before. Okay, we're doing that again. Funny that I was better the first time. Shotgun is pretty realistic. That's the first time I've actually died in this game. Okay, here we go again. Oh! Lost the assault rifle. Oh, it's right there. Good thing that's not actually going to count against my saves. Not that it matters. It's, uh, I find this shotgun works best by far up close. 
Like, I don't know if you see what I'm doing. I'm, uh... Sticking with the assault. Actually, I'm gonna grenade these assholes this time. Open fire, fire. Funny, I did better the first time because I was more stealthy. Because I didn't know you were supposed to kill them. Because in... Ah! See, he's got a shotgun. And it's kind of like... What? It's kind of like... Um, pellet shot. Where are you? Come out, come out. There's Mads Mickelson. Uh, get up. No, I want... How'd you get there? Yeah, it does look like birdshot. Which is interesting, because why would people be using birdshot in a war zone, but... There you are! Hi, Mads Mickelson! Dude, I loved you in that James Bond movie. Let's see how far the shotgun goes. So it does do something at, at range. Just not as much as it close. We need reinforcement. Everything I know about guns, I know from um, History Channel and video games. Looks like some of my car, though. I haven't seen very many like functioning guns in real life. I'm I'm quite happy with sticking to video games. I the technology behind them is amazing to me, but. Can't say I'm a gun fan. What's wrong? Yeah. Oh, Forge and Fire is like my favorite show. Forge and Fire is the only show like Forge and Fire, Twin Peaks, and Mr. Robot are the only shows I can watch like the same episode over and over and over again. It's supposed to be disturbing. Cause like after all this all this time trying to protect BB, he only has like a passing memory of it. Which is that psychological stuff that I think is amazing that Kojima does, but I really have to be in the mood for it because it is so disturbing. Hey, Scouty! You gonna come up, buddy? Mommy's in World War One, but not really. Come on up, Scouty! Hang on. Yes, Scout. 
How about you come up? Come up, so I can pet you. There we go, dear scout. Okay, there we go. Hey, honey. Hi, scout. You're this way. Yes, hello. Scout got his name because when they were living in my mother's backyard when they were little tiny kittens, he was the he was always the first one to come out. So I said he's the scout, right? Yeah. This is what I call cat difficulty setting. I can't remember. There he is. See how it like if you're up close. See how it Yes, cat difficulty. Scout mummy's killing. There we go. So that's pretty much how the shoddy works. Yes, yeah, Scouty. I see you. See, it takes him out in one shot if you get it has a sorry, it has a knockback if you get close. Holy crap, man. Bye bye. Yes, Scout. Yes. Okay, this is definitely going to be a clip. It's hilarious. Cat difficulty. Whoa, where are you? Oh, he's here. Okay, let's reload. Before we kill your daddy. Like, this is the thing. You're killing the kid's father. Kojima. Oh, shit. There we go. Oh, hey! Bye-bye. Open fire. Yes, Scout. Okay, telling me it's over here. BB Vision! Over if you here. point BB, I shoot. Yeah, I do too. There. Light him up. They're stylized enough so you can accept the brutality of what's going on without it being like, oh, this isn't fun. Gage on sight. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Like, no lie, the first time this was like, what it's is here, going here, here, here. on? Nope, nothing there. Okay. Oh, crap, BB. I need to look after you, man. It, dep it depends on the sword about how they were deciding to work. Yeah, that's... It, it, this is based on Japanese porter game. Like, I don't understand why this makes him feel better, but... Shake the baby! Sorry, buddy. Oh, that did piss him off. Okay. Easy, buds. Easy. Okay, he's chill now. You have news? Baby. 
I love it. I'm in like a world. Oh, that's great, like chaos. I'm in a World War One war zone. And I'm pausing to take care of my fetus. It's like hardcore Tamagotchi. You coming back up, Scout? Okay, that's enough. Back to killing. Oh, that's great. Come on up, Scouty. Come on. Oh, hey. There we are. See, the shotgun doesn't do much at range. Are you actually down? Okay, so you're behind me now. Assault rifle, shotgun, assault rifle. I'm gonna switch to the assault rifle. Yes, Yodi. Keep your eyes peeled. Ah, there's somebody coming. Shot him in the balls and his head flew off. I know you don't like violence, BB. I'm sorry. It has to be done. Bye, Scout. Enemy sighted. Oh, so you're over there now. Remember. <laughs> they have that in Gears of War 2. It's called the, uh, what is it? What the heck? Forget what it's called, but it's fun. It's not a very good weapon, but it's fun. Where are you? I see you. This is probably going to be a shotgun, isn't it? Yeah. See you. Nope. Assault rifle. bad when I shoot dudes in the back, but it's that kind of game. Okay, those screams. Screw you and your screaming. Take your Mariah Carey shit elsewhere. Well, right now, this is the assault rifle, not the shotgun. And they're all supposed to look like 3D printed guns. Oh, crap! That's the shotgun. Missed. I want this to end. Just 
Go back to being naked, Matt Mickelson. In the ass. I like how you have to kick off the cage when you change weapons. Oh. Here we go again. We need, we need reinforcements. I need to pacify my BB. You have to shoot. Mads Mickelson multiple times to clear this level. Uh, have you found increasingly uh, first person shooters have like designed their levels so there's a lot less camping? Like the drop shot in Gears of War is pretty much an anti camping weapon. The guns only reload when um, you rest in private rooms because the ammo is printed. Okay, he won't he won't pacify beyond that. Okay. Remember. I know, BB. Remember. We have to shoot your dad. There you are. Sorry, BB, you don't like killing. I know you don't like killing. Sometimes we don't have a choice, buddy. War is hell. Oh, there goes his head again. Um, the knife isn't the central weapon, it's this rope. That's your melee weapon. Other than that, I don't really know. Ow, what shot me? No, he's this way. This way. Game on, motherfucker. Yeah. That way. Where are you? Switch to shotgun. Because I think this is going to be. There he is. His head flew off again. And we're clear. Who's new? Oh, hey, Ambiguity. <laughs> you clipped that, eh, Valis? Um, yeah, Eileen, you've got uh, exoskeletons on you that allow you to keep your balance better. That's why you can carry so much. Wow. And BB's like, what? Two dudes fighting over a baby. This is so slashy. Like, you know there's gonna be slash Vic of these two guys, right? Come on. So Kojima.
So basically, he tried to steal BB from the facility and he got caught. Hey, KLRG. Okay, so that's the first... That's the first one. First story point. I'm sure you see why I got you to watch that. The next one is possibly even creepier. If you have dead baby issues, I am warning you now. This is possibly the creepiest thing in this whole game. Yeah, we're going through some story scenes, KLRG. Just so people can be caught up with what's going on. A lot of systems are pretty horrible that way. The menus are very dense. So as you see, it wasn't actually... Sam, do you read me? Yeah. Everything okay? Where am I? Say again? What happened to me? The second you left the distribution center, the storm blinked out. Just like that. Chiral density dropped almost as fast. I got caught in the storm and I was in a war zone. Yeah, Everything Cloudcraft. That, unfortunately, that's what happened with the um, residential schools up no, here, too. It was much longer than that. Yeah, creepier. There it's... was a soldier. He Tried taking my BB. If you say so. Keeping my BB. A little one can vouch for me. I'm gonna Sam? keep my BB. It's been oh. less than a minute since we last. Yeah, time. it's a Luden. I can't be right. I was there for. Mads Mickelson gave it to him. Oh, sorry, Midna. Like. Maybe you should rest a bit. Yeah. Never mind. Coming to you. It's a shame I can't meet you halfway. If Kojima hasn't no, no. played the darkness kid, right? or read the darkness, it's interesting how people Damn. like came up with the same idea. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing you. He was on Narnia time, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, it drops all your shit all over the ground. <sighs> Which is why... Sam, proceed to Mama's lab. Mama was part of the Cupid R&D team. However, from the start, she had concerns about its long-term viability. So I don't know if you notice. Some Cupids had fundamental flaws, which might explain the strange phenomenon, phenomenon. experienced do, 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 and do. the spike in chiral density. You should pay I don't know if you notice. See what she has to All say. the stuff I picked up in that World War One setting is real. What do you mean for when BB's tank is lit up? Contaminating suit. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna... It's actually interesting what they said about the uh, BBs, that they're using them without really understanding them. I think I can just drive and get to Mama and get the next uh, creepy cutscene. I don't have to load my save. If it gets messed up, I can load my save, but yeah, there's Mama's lab. It's close. I love this game. I'm really surprised. This is like the most enjoyable AAA game I've played since Spider-Man. Like, Chaos, you'd have real trouble with this game playing it because of all the reading and the teeny tiny text. BB sometimes lights up on your chest. It... 
BB also lights up when he's detecting BTs. And when you connect to the cryo, cryo network. Okay, I warned you, this is friggin' creepy. This scene messed me up hard. Yeah, it's, you actually do have to wash that stuff off. It's pretty cool. I can show you. Yeah. It's a cool mobile, though. This character is beautifully designed because the whole game, I'm like, this chick is crazy, and then, yeah. Yep. She's hungry. What the? Yep. Messed up. Super messed up. Kojima! Hey, Kwa. There, she's down. Even though she can't drink it, my body keeps making it. Going through the motions really helps with the soreness, though. What is she? She's my daughter. Arr. And I'm her mama. It's okay. BB's like, lady, you cracked me. It's not like the other BTs. You can see it, right? Arr. Yeah. Now you know why I can't leave. Like, it's perfect. They found a woman with perfect crazy face. This whole game, I'm like, this chick's a rabbit boiler. So, about the supercell. Do you think the grown ups could talk for a minute? And then BT can't Thanks. listen to science. Sorry, BB Look can't listen to silence. silence. This was the kind a of rabbit boiler. That's a reference to Fatal Attraction. But almost immediately after, it dropped to normal levels. In other words, this old movie in less than a second. And that's impossible. Okay. Let's she boiled the family the rabbit because she was then. obsessed with. Was it Glenn Close and Michael Douglas? Glenn Close was like the the crazy obsessive lady, and then Michael Douglas was the guy she was obsessed well, with because he had an affair crazy, and fatal attraction. Yeah. Time so she the boiled the family the rabbit. Stuff. Was it Sharon Stone? Best guess I can muster is you were trapped between two different space times. Uh, the Sharon Stone was Basic Instinct. HQ is doing a Yeah, analysis. BBs are born to brain dead mothers. All they've got to work with is the it was Glenn Close. Spectrum, Sharon Stone was Fatal Attraction. With a little effort. Also, Michael Douglas. They should be able to figure out where you were sent. Another Cairo spike. She's been crying more at night. Chiral density increases that's in regions connected to the chiral network, but not sure if it's a farm way, or way specific different places. Bad, right? Yeah, and Archer, more that's right. connections means more Chirelli. Um, Early on, Bridges did acknowledge this as a potential problem, so I installed special limiters in the cupids to keep the chiral levels in check. 
Looks like the limiter. So if you notice more fucking with shit they don't totally understand. The super cell and the temporal phenomenon that you experienced may be related to all this. Are you saying if I keep extending the nub? That that's what's so creepy about it, Eileen. She's talking about Maybe. breastfeeding a ghost as if it's the most normal thing in the world. And you totally or believe worse. it. Cause she is crazy God, face. Is that stranding? Uh, but you got a solution. Of course I've got a solution. Right over yeah, here. Yeah, especially since none of this is real. It would be like all mocap suits and stuff like that. We just need to integrate a limiter into this new cupid I threw together. Thought I'd make you one since you said you were coming. Yeah, I I think um, one of the themes is very much how humanity dehumanizes itself with technology. Great crisis averted. No crisis not averted. We need to rewrite the software to work with the new hardware. Um, we'll get to it. The cuffs yeah, being um, off means they no can't. Can Listen in. I designed the hardware, but the software was written by someone else. Well, where can we find them? Her. The name's Lochna. She was a member of Bridges One. You'll have to head to Mountain Knot City. All right. I it's actually believable anyway. that there'd be a lot more female oh. scientists and programmers in this world because the guys are out hoofing it. Here we go again. And here's more creepiness. I don't know what's gotten into her lately. She's so scared. Look at her. Sam's like, I'm not going through this alone. BB, you're my wingman. Maybe the other side wants her back. Yeah, maybe. Z uh, maybe she wants to go back. We can't hey, keep going like this. That much I know. <laughs> <laughs> she was due. I was in the hospital waiting for her. And now we find out why she's so fucked up. And the terrorists hit us. I wasn't, uh, wasn't sexist like chaos. Wait. In this case, the the body strength Wait. would make- you don't see any female porters in this ah. game. Felt like forever. But no one came. They say it air. And water. Like she's drinking time fall. That's gotta fuck you up. And I guess Timefall doesn't age pregnant women, which is kind of Someone interesting. Help me, please! <laughs> oh right, fragile is a porter. I don't know how many days went. By. She's got special powers though. The water ran dry, and the cold set in. Like she jumps from place to place. I'm talking like the rank and file, but that's too fragile is. Like. It's just the sheer birth. muscle mass. They're in the rubble. But that doesn't mean there wouldn't be some women who could do it. But instead of bringing life, but into somebody the world, this tiny couldn't. I brought death. And the whole point of fragile being called fragile is. Time fell stopped. My baby started to cry. You can live for a few I days without cry. food. You can't cry. you can't live very long without water. Her life was the price I had to pay to survive. She saved me.
And you see the full crazy face. And we've been together. This actress so. played it well. But she's a BT. The ties that bind her to this place bind me too. Yeah, you there you go, Punisher. I've never really been discharged. And you're okay with that? I thought that too, you Slick, that it's gone. very much the earthquake stories. You want to live your life in the shadow of the dead? And I think that's, Qua, well, that's what you're supposed you, to take people, from it. You chose the dead over the living. Why else would you be here? I just remembered. Dead men told me repatriates have special blood. Mind if I take a sample? Yeah, sure. Suck me dry. You already bleed me in my sleep. Bit cold, ain't you? Just a second. There. All done. I want her on a test. She wasn't gentle oh, about that, me. neither. I'm sorry, Sam. Um, would you mind leaving us alone for a while? Yeah. I gotta get to work. Crazy! Sam? Hey, forget what I said about chiral spikes. Reconnecting the world comes first. Maybe we're making things worse. Maybe not. But You never have to worry about dropping your baby, that's for sure. Good luck, Cause it's Sam. dead! <laughs> yeah... I get the sense Mama gives bad advice. I mean, considering Sam, her life choices. The delivery terminal outside still works. Go ahead and get it connected. I'll give you further instructions from there. Sam, your next. You don't need to see to this. You have still. It's fine. But for now. None. All right, that's what the other cutscene I wanted to show you is. By the way, Sam, I've added a zipline schematic to your PCC. Figured it would come in handy. All you need to set one up is at least two anchors. Why bother carrying? Everything okay, like is? The good news is. Fragile's back. Out. Okay, so let's let's go get Sam a shower, and then we'll dump jump to the next cutscene. No worries, man. Oh, that supercell quest sucks. Oh, so frustrating. Oh, wait, is Sam wearing his natty otter hat? I don't think he is. You get an otter hat from a cosplayer so you can be a furry. He's very excited. Get moving. That was a proximity to BTs shorting out your electric vehicle. BTs disrupt uh, electrical. Oh my god, the cast trailer is terrifying. Because everything's electric in this world. So here we go, we're gonna do shower. I don't know why it doesn't shower first, then sleep, but...
Tigress confused me in Kung Fu Panda. Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. Shower time. And at this point, YouTube would be screaming, not for kids, not for kids. He takes it off when he's in the truck. So that's that. I think I have to leave the room to load saves. No, yeah, it won't let me. Okay. <laughs> so we'll jump to cutscene. What's the next? Bear with me for a moment. It is blood delivery. 1126. 1126. There we are. Urgent blood delivery. 1126. Why did I write this one down? Oh, because it's in the private room after that. Okay, there we go. The the stuff about YouTube, you mean, like Chaos? Yeah, this game is so not a male power fantasy. Sam's basically a tool. Like, the crap this dude goes through, and like, everybody is. Yeah, it, there's a lot unknown about that COPPA thing, like Chaos, it, and that's kind of what disturbs me about it. There's apparently some sort of settlement. Where am I supposed to go? All right. Oh, yeah, the shooty shoot. This is kind of scary, but we're going to do it. That's non-lethal assault rifle. That's what I want. Because I don't want to have to deal with dead bodies. Because that sucks. like about this is the limited ammo means you can't just rely on one weapon. You have to switch around a lot.
if you accidentally kill an enemy, you have to get him to the incinerator before you trigger a void out. And I did it by accident because I confused my lethal and non-lethal guns once, and it sucked. I like kicking them. Um, well, you can, if you totally run out of ammo and really need to defend yourself lethally, you can, you just have to get to an incinerator, like, double time. I did have to do that once. Yeah, part of the problem, Des, is that YouTube hasn't clarified what, how the definition of for kids and not for kids is supposed to work. So it's left a, uh, a lot of creators going, if I make content for teens, am I in breach? You know, and like... What about the 13-year-old girls that watch PewDiePie? I mean, just because the content isn't made for them, they do watch it. It's... It's really... Okay. It's really confusing. And I mean, it doesn't affect me. But in principle, I'm bothered with the way it's handled. Yeah, YouTube is passing on responsibility to its creators, and I don't like it. Like, YouTube gets all the benefits, and creators have all the responsibility, and that's not right. It's, uh... It's a lot easier to make sure kids aren't getting... to content they shouldn't than YouTube is making it seem. Like, I don't... Like I said, it was easy enough for me... To just set my whole channel as not for kids, because let's face it, my content isn't for kids. I'm showing naked man ass on this stream. But I feel badly for the people who try to do all ages content and now don't know what to do. Yeah, no shit. Former mules who took a turn for the worse. That's what I thought, Qua. Cargo doesn't do it for them anymore. Mayhem and destruction are their drugs of choice now. But you didn't give them the satisfaction. You kept your cargo safe. Great work. I doubt you've seen the last of them, though. Keep your eyes peeled, huh? Yeah, the, uh, the problem with, the problem I'm having is that what's considered okay for kids in countries including Canada is not the same as the U.S., so the whole world's forced to conform to U.S. standards. Oh, I checked multiple times.
There we go. This is creepy in a whole different way. What's coming up? Actually, other countries are rolling over like chaos and saying YouTube's a private company. So we have to conform to their rules. Here we go. I agree, Cloudcraft, but they make the rules. Thank you so much. Our med team should have no trouble patching them up now. You're a lifesaver. I can't believe how fast. Okay, come on. Ah, shit, I did better than, than my first time there, and it's not going to count. Oh, well. Okay. Exactly, Des. See, I agree, Slick. Like, if parents are worried about what their kids watch, stick to YouTube Kids. I think about, you know, when I was a kid and pay TV was a thing. And, uh, you know, there were blue movies, as they were called at the time, on, on pay TV. And we snuck look sometimes, but generally our parents didn't let us watch it. And the system worked. I mean, yeah, the internet, it's harder because... You know, they can sneak on cell phones and things like that. But I don't know. I, I know plenty of parents. Here we go. More nudity. <laughs> ah! Tropes versus women moment coming in three, two, one. <sighs> Troy Baker's a dick. Yeah. I I think that was kind of deliberate. I mean, this is a metaphor. Amelie. And something's not right about this. And his people came. They finally reached Echnoth City. There's no escape for me now. Everyone's dead. The city's destroyed. And what's left is crawling with BTs. They're everywhere. Where's your Kipu? But I was able to sneak away and reach out to you. This might be our last chance to That's talk Lindsay Wagner. This. I just wanted you to know that I'm safe. For now. Promise me you'll keep building the Chiral Network. It's our only hope for the future. It's my only hope for freedom. Hey, she is bionic. And when you've finished, we can go back east together. Amelie. I think that's not ways. her. I'm gonna go to where I am in the game. After this. Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach. I just wanted to catch people up on the plot. <sighs> I 
He's a mess. That means another shower. Shower time. Oh, there's another funny thing I'll show you. How he drinks beer. Whoops, I messed up. Okay, I can show the beer later. So let's go. And see now, these BB flashbacks have a whole new meaning. He got shot. Alright, so let's go back to my present save. Oxy, is this it? Now I have to remember, no, that was, it was this one. Was it? This was the one I did manually right before I started. That sounds right. All right. I see what you did there, Cloudcraft. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. All clear. Well, Knowing I was going to get a beating as a kid only scared me. Knowing that, you know, I was upsetting my parents might actually change my behavior. Hey, where is Momo? Momo's doing something else. See, like, Chaos, fear doesn't, I don't think, motivate anybody to change behavior, because when people are in a, um, a fight-or-flight response, um, they don't actually learn. The brain kind of blanks out. But that's, that's not, um, I think we've gone too far the other way now that it's tough, you know, because one mistreated kid is, is too many. Um, and you want to protect kids, but I'm not sure that some of these rules now are actually protecting kids. It's more parents wanting the world to be nerfed for their particular, uh, biases.
I mean, I'm saying this is somebody who was hit as a kid, so... I'm of that generation. So, I can only speak from my own experience. Hitting didn't teach me anything but to be afraid of my father. saying, like chaos. Oh, don't break it. All right. Okay, good. And we're going to do one of my favorite things again. Building roads. <laughs> Someone's happy. <laughs> See, that's the other thing that happens, eh, Slick? I love building roads. And yeah, I'm the parent, Eileen, isn't, like, what? what's that, what's that teaching a kid? Bullies get their way. Where the hell am I going? That was a lot of jumping around in my brain. Okay, there. I'll get that on the way back. Actually, no, I shouldn't. I should do that while everybody's down again. Um, the roads are built by that cryo technology. And yeah, they're basically like 3D printers. And that's why people went so crazy and weird and everybody's like, so many people are afraid to be touched and all that stuff because so many jobs in this world are now done by machines. Slick. And I mean, okay, let's face it, that I'm not meaning corporal punishment is like a little smack on the hand. Like, I got thrown around pretty hard when I was a kid. It, it wasn't just a little, like, tap. Oh, I was doing this stupid thing. See, Eileen, I think that's a really good example because then it teaches kids that it's okay to be wrong. See, you got to you got to get up on the dais. You got to get the uh, the prompt, the cargo menu prompt on it. You actually have to drive up on it if you want to if you want it to detect stuff in the truck, which is kind of funny. Yeah, that's right, Eileen. Because you look up to your parents, and so you emulate their behavior. And so if they set an example where it's okay to be wrong and admit it, 
I think that 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 matters. Yeah, slick. I can relate to that too. It sounds like it was an like taught you that there are ways to feel angry without letting it control you, but not by example, by opposition. Because you learn that you don't respect people who are that out of control angry. <laughs> what can't you do? You're not usually wrong, like Chaos. Okay. See, there's my otter hood, but it only it only pops up when it rains. You missed another shower, Aislin. Ah! I am 18 metal short. Oh well. Still working okay on my end. <sighs> Cloudcraft, I've I've wondered that myself. And I wonder if some people have had such a padded life that they desperately want someone to be in charge and all that outrage is just like fear. No, oh, I've got to get up there. Oh, mini Oreos, delicious. What was I saying? I was saying that you're you're not usually wrong, like Aos. Like, it just seems to me like a lot of these, these outraged, like, perpetually outraged types, they just want things to be simple in a way they're not. And it's just, how do I put this? You have to embrace the complexities of life. See, that's the thing, Cloudcraft, that you knew that it had to be serious for the person to raise their voice. As opposed to someone who yells at everything. You just, they're just yelling. Like they just, they freak out at the simplest things. So it's hard to take them seriously. I, that's what I say about, what the heck? There we are. So it's. Locked until departure. All clear. So it's Welcome there? I'm lost. <laughs> like, that's someone who's in control of themselves, it sounds like. Cloudcraft. Alright, what am I in for here? Weapons restrictions lifted. That's what my controller does in this game. See, that's a good example, because it shows that anger isn't inherently evil. Um, everybody feels it sometimes, but it doesn't control him. And I think that's important, that people find that balance. Social issues, LARPer. 
I think a lot of online outrage warriors are also just incredibly lazy. Okay, it sounds like that's unhealthy like chaos. Yeah, I agree, Eileen. Like, there's behaviors that aren't okay, but not emotions. There we go. See, so hear that slightly mechanical sound? That's the exoskeleton. Line. Where's the other side of the zip line? Come on, let's get this done. Yeah, I think people with autism got a really rough ride back then because it wasn't understood. It's interesting because I my schools were part of pilot projects with integrating um oh here's the otter hood. Come on, make it rain. Put up your otter hood. Be furry. No, you're not whining like chaos. It's interesting, because I was around kids on the spectrum, and we knew what it was. <clears throat> In the 90s. But, like I said, my school was part of a pilot project integrating kids and in, integrating special needs kids into regular classroom environments. So it was a unique case. Shit. Well, part of that was the solid parenting you got, Eileen, right? I mean, I'm, I'm very big on the importance of public schools. I know there's a lot of people who disagree with me, but I don't think the rarefied air of, of private schools is healthy. But I think they have to be quality public schools. Like, the great thing about public school is it taught me how to get along with people who were different. And I didn't have to agree. Yeah, see, parents have to make a choice in the US. But I also understand a lot of those charter schools aren't that great either. So it's a good it's good you went to a good one. It's there. Okay, I'll get this thing. Good, you've, uh, you've discussed it, like Chaos. Hey, that's important. I mean, we didn't. Obviously, we didn't understand autism as well as we understand it now. Um, Asperger's wasn't even a thing. Um, I didn't hear about Asperger's until around 2001, 2002. It's the first person I'd ever met who identified as having Asperger's syndrome was um, one of the, the house painters um, we used. He was on the spectrum, but at the time they called it Asperger's syndrome. And 
he found out I was into computers and stuff like that and spent a ton of time on his lunch break showing me his, uh, his favorite websites. And I remember one of them was this thing called stickdeath.com. And it was these rudimentary animations of stick figures getting killed. And he just thought this was hilarious. And I'm like, all right. But I mean, the cool thing about the company is they told us in advance it was a, it was a company that hired, um, people with, um, um, people who were either recovering addicts or had developmental issues, stuff like that. And so they disclosed in advance what people's challenges were. And so, like, you know, we, we knew... We knew the basics. And so instead of it being like, wow, this guy's really annoying, insisting on showing me a website when he should be working kind of thing, it's like, no, this was... He was just different, and this was his way, and... Um, we learned that... You have to be very clear with someone on the spectrum. You can't hint the way you do with the neurotypical person because they won't get it. So what you consider being polite might just be stressful. Wow, when did that start, Des? Homeschooling's becoming a real thing because of various challenges with the system. Eileen, I agree. That, that's what I kind of like about they show on The Good Doctor. They show all the characters as being obsessive about things or, or sensitive or having things that really bother them. And... It, it really does show that it is a spectrum of experience. It's not like good or bad or sick or healthy. It's just... There we go. That's somebody else's bike. Yeah. And I think that's good that we're, uh... It, it, see, to me, normal... Normal and healthy aren't the same thing. It's now normal to ghost people instead of talking about your issues. And I don't think that's healthy. I think a lot of behaviors that are normal are not necessarily healthy or ideal. Yeah, exactly, Cloudcraft. That's... Oh, the ghosting drives me crazy. And that, that ch has changed within my, my uh, working life. It used to be if you had issues, you sat down and you talked them out and you worked it out and you moved on. Now, no one talks about it. And it's considered rude to say you have a problem with something. It drives me crazy. Because everybody just complains about everybody else and nothing ever gets solved. Hey, it's Sam Bridges. Good to see you, man. Oh my god, the ghosting? I hate ghosting. <laughs> Just look at all this stuff. It's so unhealthy. See, some people just don't have a 24-hour body clock. And is that normal? No. Is there anything you can really do uh about it? And you know what, like, hey, uh, not like chaos, Cloudcraft, everybody's like that. Ghosting is when instead of 
telling somebody I'm I'm mad at you or something like that, you just um, stop talking to them. You just disappear. Well, that's all right, like chaos. I wish I was like that. Stay safe out there. You know what, Cloudcraft? I really think people who claim that people who are not on the spectrum Okay, I know people who are professional interviewers and are trained in nonverbal cues. Even they will tell you that you can sense a nonverbal cue but not know what it means. Like, you might be able to tell someone is uncomfortable, but you don't know why. You know? You still have to inquire. Oh, yay, rain. We get to see the otter hood in action. I mean, define understand, right? Like, we know something's wrong, but we don't know what it is. And I mean, like... KLRG, that sounds to me like he's conflict-averse. And he's the one that doesn't know how to have a conversation. And most people are conflict averse to an extent. Even people who know you're on the spectrum, Cloudcraft. Okay. See, nobody likes conflict. But some people are better at recognizing that sometimes conflict is necessary. And I mean, conflict doesn't mean like a knockdown, drag out, heated fight. There's got to be limits to things. But. Oh, it, it shouldn't be physical. Absolutely not. Physical altercations mean something broke down. Beginning scan. How so, Cloudcraft? That's an interesting observation. See, there's a uh, another Horizon Zero Dawn hologram. Ah, it stopped. That's interesting. Now, why does it bother you that you do that? Because I get it, but um, other people would say that's normal. That's what everybody does. 
I see it your way, Cloudcraft. Even though, yes, you're you're lying out of consideration. It... Seeing you in action. Give... See, I'm like that too, like chaos. Which is why I get so frustrated when people say I I've lied. I wish I was a better liar. <laughs> Gaz, I'm... I'm profoundly introverted too, I hear you. Wow, that's really self-aware, Cloudcraft. Probably why you're good at game design. Because that's really self aware. Like, I'm impressed. I think everybody has a hard time keeping track of that stuff like chaos. That's why I don't like doing it. Gee, Cloudcraft, I know nothing about that. I'm guilty of that as well. But that's my way of enjoying things. I mean, what I'm loving about this game is that, whoop, is it encourages that. It, it wants you, like, I don't get the people that are saying, oh, the plot's a mess, it doesn't tell you what's going on. It's not the plot's a mess. It's that you have to pay attention and come to your own conclusions about a lot of stuff. And I really like that. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges idle. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until the launch. Cargo verified. I think so, and I have not. I don't, I mean, I think it's, some Westerners don't understand the Japanese tradition of guidance storytelling when something is just a fragment. And it, it means you're, you're allowed to decide for yourself what thing means, and I really like it. I like being able to continue the story myself in my own brain. And it's not giving me specific answers, so I can just take the version I like best. I lean on the same way. That's exactly what I say. I can't keep track. What Cloudcraft said that Automod found aggressive is to follow up on what I was saying, I want to become better at being willing to tell people to fuck off. Why, Cloudcraft? Because not doing it makes you feel bad somehow? Jeez, Gaz, that... Why did it upset you so much? Isn't it amazing how people who lie prolifically do not lie proficiently? Cloudcraft that you don't quite know how to assert yourself?
Like physically pushed you, guys? I don't want to have to keep lies straight either, because it's just like I I don't like it when people make me lie for them. It drives me crazy. Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Hmm. Thank you for your generosity. I think a lot of people can relate to that feeling, Cloudcraft. Okay, shower time again. Um. Like I come, I come from. How do I say this? You're not allowed to say ghetto anymore. I come from like hood tradition where <laughs> when you grow up where I grew up, you're really good at telling people to fuck off. What's interesting is when you end up in a higher social economic bracket, you, oh jeez, guys, you, like, When you end up in a higher socioeconomic bracket, people don't... <laughs> like I was. People don't talk the way you... The way people do in... Is this one does a little dance? I love that little dance. I love the little BB dance. Um, people don't talk the way they talk when I grew up. Where I grew up. And it's actually considered, like, wrong in higher socioeconomic brackets. I am still not used to the amount of gossip and behind-the-back talking that happens among rich people. Uh, well, middle-class people talk differently than rich people. It's interesting. Exactly, Eileen! This is what I was trying to tell you. Oh, this is a sad scene. That's it, Lisa. Don't be shy. Um... Like we used to. Come on. Keep up. See, poor people have a certain socialization. And then middle class people have a certain socialization. And rich people have a certain socialization. And they're all very different. Oh my God. Today's mommy's birthday. Yeah. Like to see how he ended up. Like, oh my god, it's so tragic. Like, he's nominated for an acting... Um, hey, Paradox. He's nominated for an acting uh, category in in the Game Awards. The same category Norman Reedus is nominated in. Cloudcraft, I think we have that in common. <laughs> um, bottling it isn't good, guys. You gotta get it out. Y you can't. You can't internalize that stuff. It'll eat you alive. But yeah, I, I, I really think it's not fair that Norman Reedus and Mads Mikkelsen are nominated in the same category for this game because their jobs are totally different. Like, acting is a playable character and acting is one of these story point characters. It's not the same job. Like, not even close. Yeah, like, Mads Mikkelsen's performance in this is astounding. Well, probably because he saw the part and was like, yes. But, like, he's astounding in this. See you, like, Chaos. Um, but, I mean, the stuff Norman Reedus has to do as a playable character, it's, it's a totally different... Um, 
It's a totally different job. And I can't compare the performance Mads Mikkelsen gives in this to what Norman Reedus is doing in this. And this is the issues I have with... I have with awards is at this Cloudcraft, you'll love this because it's it's me like analyzing and you know getting in there and taking something apart but awards should compare like and like it should compare proficiency in two people doing the same job not try to judge between people doing extremely different jobs is leaving past out a problem? Still got it. Well, I mean, Norman Reedus has to interact with all this utterly ridiculous stuff, right? Like, he has to be goofy. He has to be the butt of jokes. But then he has to be seriously dramatic and sell this reality that is just... I mean, he... He makes this, at times, absurd world seem very real. Guillermo del Toro does a great job of that, too. Whoa! Yeah, I don't, I don't quite understand what No Man's Sky did that was so innovative. Uh, if maybe the scale of procedural... Um procedural generation, but it was... No Man's Sky was a great tech demo. Wasn't a good game. I mean, the stuff Norman Reedus does in the private rooms is pretty great. I, I agree, Cloudcraft. Like... There are subtle technical innovations in this game, but hey, Prince of Halcyon, um, Delivering cargo. what this game does is uses, and I think this is how he was able to put it together so quickly. Wow. Um, what he does is uses very familiar mechanics to do something different with them. The way he's put stuff together is different. Just you know, I've... Go ahead. And... I think you can tell innovation when not everybody gets it. Do these punches have the potential to warp steel beams? Seeing you in action. Good, Good work. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Keep on keeping on. you guys I, j I get what you're saying you just seem like a pretty cool dude and I think you deserve better than that for whatever my opinions were you know like that can't be easy carrying that stuff around all the time
see guys all counter I think it does but I think that's a sign of it being a weak year as much as anything like I looked at the game of the year nominations and I can't think of a game that should be on that list it was just a weak year for games I do think it's one of the best games of the year. Yeah, that's what I mean, Cloudcraft. There's been a lot of cool things in the indie space, but... I mean, Resident Evil 2? I mean, it's way easier to make a game super cool the second time around. Hopefully, I will have an answer, Prince of Halcyon. Which ones, Cloudcraft? And I think that's the argument for being in, but they didn't have to create any of the story or any of the world or anything like that, so they could focus on making it really tight. That's what I'm saying, like, how do you compare a completely new IP to a game that first came out in the 90s? Okay, Cloudcraft, I'm just curious if there's any that I haven't seen, because I played some great indie games. I mean, I've been loving the indie games and, like, the older titles and stuff. I really enjoyed Abduction. Um, just, yeah, AAA getting kind of stale. And so, like, I'm hoping if this game... The most important thing is if a AAA game sells well. No, I know it wasn't this year. It's funny, I back Firmament and I didn't even know that Abduction existed. But doing a good remake and doing a new IP are totally different skills. That's what I'm saying. You really can't compare a like and like. Um... People I know who have played that say it's a ton of fun, Fallen Order. And that's where I'm at, too. Like... Oh, I'll defend Death Stranding! Anytime, anywhere, I will defend this game. I do not have a problem with that at all. Oh, I overshot it, Rebuilding Roads. Whoops. I'm an RE fan, too. I just, like, objectively... Maybe we're coming at it differently. You're just leaning into your bias. I'm going, I'm biased because I'm a Resident Evil fan, and I have to admit that it's not an original story. And, like, this is the thing. Like, in the Oscars, there's a best adapted screenplay and a best original screenplay. For example, recognizing that they're different skills. So just make them different categories. And in a Shilfest Awards like the Game Awards, that benefits everybody because then more people can win awards. Oh, Steam Sale. Yeah, that's something I will never do again. I will never attempt to crowdfund during a Steam Sale. I didn't know I was doing it at the time, but oh god, only in May. No... No more stuff in June.
I think people just forgot about Borderlands 3 too, Eileen. I think it was just like, meh, another Borderlands. Which is not fair. That's a game I'd give a try when it comes out on like on sale for like five bucks. That's good to know about a Plague's Tale. <laughs> I'm writing all these down. Not that I have. Delivering cargo. Oh, the driving in Watch Dogs Thanks was awful. Uh, the other one is a hat in time. Just look at all this stuff. You're a lifesaver. Yes, I was. I was aware of a hat in time. See, I loved Hellblade too. I'm a sucker for Ninja Theory games though. Was that Ninja Theory or Team Ninja? I always get them confused. Ninja Theory, I was right. Okay. But yes, the vehicles handle... The thing that's cool about this game is the vehicles handle well, but they drive... Um, they drive decidedly differently when they're full than when they're empty. Like, they did a really good job with it. The thing I'm loving about this is it's not... People are like, he's not a good writer, but he's a good game designer. You can't decide how he is in linear stories because he wrote a story to facilitate gameplay. And that... I, I reject the entire concept that... Because Tom Bissell on Gears, Gears of War... Um... Has, uh, has the opposite problem. He tries to write the great American novel when he should just be writing a fun video game. Oh, the sound design on Hellblade was incredible. What am I doing now? Sound, blade, sound design on Hellblade was so good. I think I'm going to talk about that. My issues with Game Awards. Yeah, you got to play that game on headset. So good. Or like properly positioned speakers, but headsets are the best because then it sounds like they're whispering behind you. Did you watch the behind the scenes thing about how they recorded that? See, there's the incinerator. That's where you have to take bodies when, when they get killed. You have to wrap them in body bags and take them. <sighs> Is uh, Disco Elysium the David Gator game? I'm writing down Disco Elysium 2. What's Pathologic 2 about? That sounds cool, okay, allergy. That... Oh, neat. 
That, Eileen, that logic makes no sense. That logic is not logic. That logic is lacking any logic. Like, but what? I don't even know where to begin. Which game? I like how they almost tip and you're like, no, 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 and it gets back on. Okay, that, that's, that's the thing, like, if people just don't like violence in their media, okay, but people get on video games and then they cheer The Handmaid's Tale, and I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. I... Oh, not again. I barely got through the book The Handmaid's Tale. And now you want me to watch real people going through that stuff? Oh, don't run over, don't run over! I mean, I, I it, it's okay. really well acted and all that stuff, but oh man. That was how I got into uh, Kafka. Is I was doing a project on dystopian fiction and my teacher, I was like, he recommended The Handmaid's Tale to go with 1984 and um, Brave New World. And uh, he recommended The Handmaid's Tale and I was reading, I'm like, I, I can't, I can't. This is like, The, the physical pain I experienced reading some of those scenes. Well, season two onwards is at, like the book, the end of the book is the end of season one. How someone could understand beliefs without holding them? That's... Just because you understand something doesn't mean you subscribe to it, right? Right. See, that's... That's something that... That's something that drives me crazy. Yeah, see, I like... I like looting these guys blind. Because I know it's all stolen. Terrorist boots? Oh, uh, these are demons. Okay. KLRG, my theory about it. And this is not why people like the show. Because some people just like the excitement of a of a really dramatic narrative. I think some people How do I put this? They think certain things are the way of things. 
all caps, all caps, right? And so if something, if a work reaffirms what they believe is the way of things, all caps, then they like it. If it challenges what they think is the way of things, they dislike it. That's my thought. And I don't share that friction. See, Cloudcraft, I agree. Oh god. <laughs> Mortal Kombat is so ridiculous, I don't know how anybody takes anything seriously. There are Handmaid's Tale shippers? Sorry, did you see me go like, what? <laughs> like, how? Why? I need a grown-up. Maybe it's your connection, not your laptop. Prince. Who are they? Sh Nick and June? What? Oh, not a frame, okay. This is me. Really sh what happened? That happens to me sometimes too, KLRG. Are you uh, fully updated, Slick? Sometimes that can do it. Like drivers and, and updates and everything like that. What the ones that get me are the ones where technically someone is on quote unquote my side or the they come to the they take the same positions I do, but the reasons they take those positions are so disturbed to me that I start wondering should I not think the things I think? I think some people might be just responding to charismatic actors. I I agree. I think the world's need the world needs more nuance. What? I 
I guess that's because I'm not, like... I used to think that Cloudcraft, and, and then I became utterly exhausted by causes. Uh, now, these days I'm more, I'm more concerned about, um... I have no orders. Why did I come here? What am I supposed to be doing? I got confused. Bring mountain, not city. Okay. Good. That sounds like a very funny ship fit, Cloudcraft. I'm I'm normally non-judgmental about people's ships because normally they're harmless, but Handmaid's Tale. Oof. All right. Shit's gonna get real, so prep now. I love his totally cool bro stance when this platform lowers. Like, that's the most soulful elevator pose I've ever seen. <sighs> yeah, like, normally I'm like, whatever, as long as you're having fun, right? Like, normally I just think it's totally harmless. Yes, we're going to shower again. That's- that's right, Aislin, like, oh my god, I do not think that way. In the Handmaid's Tale universe. Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. Then again, Aislin saw me get totally mad uh, when they fake killed Glenn. And I was mad because I knew he got real killed in the books. Oh, gotta show the beer too, right? He got real killed in the book and it was so cheap. And the fake death didn't even make any sense. And I was so mad. And then they killed him exactly the way they killed him in the books. And then I believe that Glenn was like, I, I, I joke that Glenn was walking dead, dead Jesus. They had him come back just to kill him again. Okay, beer. This to me is a bit of a uh, Daryl call out. The way he slams his beer. Chug it. Slam. I'll do it again. <clears throat> Chug it. <laughs> Should you drink another one? Yeah, there are. I'll show you the... See? See, lots of toy soldiers now. Oh, that's how you replay them. Okay, cool. There's actually functionality to this. That's neat. He uh, gives the camera the finger if you zoom in on his crotch. I'll show you this. I, 
I d try not to think about how The Walking Dead smells. Yeah, he gave me the finger. Let's keep going. We keep objectifying the Redis. Oh, boom! There he goes. That was warranted. See, that was deserved. More beer. Oh no, what are you doing, dude? Wow! <laughs> That's good. Me likey. But now he's a shower again because he's covered in beer. I love how, like, None of this really matters, except that it adds to the reality of the world, and those are really gratuitous butt shots. Like, that was very fan servicey. I I have noticed that they have have they gone after this game? Cause that that Lindsay Wagner scene where she gets stabbed and seems to like it. Whoa, he hasn't peed in a while. Oh man. That's the longest he's gone without peeing. That's probably all the beer too. It does affect it. The amount of energy drink and stuff like that. This is my favorite Easter egg. I needed a few minutes to get it. That sucks, Slick. Mm, nice. The sound of the motorcycle is farts. You know how I feel about The Sims. What happens if he showers again? Same. Yeah, that AMC ride reference, so good. So now he's nice and clean. The hand marks are from his uh, close encounters with the BTs. They show that at the beginning. Yeah, what is it about Conan games that they always have a lot of those customization options? Saving before I go out. Got stuck where, Eileen? Avoid impact delivery to mountainous area. Okay, I don't know what avoid impact means, but we're gonna find out. Oh, it's a bomb. That's what that means. Yeah, it's compelling, eh? Like the, the, you can't customize the hair. I guess that's true about the Conan games. Like the the private quarter stuff, it's oh god. Be advised, Sam. The case for that antimatter bomb was not designed for long distance Great. transport. The magnetic traps that keep the antimatter sequestered are delicate. A powerful impact, reckless driving, an unbalanced carrier. There are all kinds of ways the traps could fail. Great. Any abnormalities detected within the case should trigger an alarm. If it goes off, you're doing it. <laughs> Thanks. And if the bomb goes off, we'll have a disaster on our hands. 
The kind we can't come back Thanks from. for the vote of confidence. Jerk. What is this? Another bomb? I better deliver that lost cargo. I want the space. That was ominous. Order assigned. I'll do this, uh, do this mission and call it a night. It's like Norman Reedus speed. going I'm going that away right yeah okay people I recommend listening or watching in what way I mean, for tech, I really like what Rich Masushi, do Masushi does. I mean, Rich is a good dude. Uh, and he knows his stuff. Um, for games... See, I'm so... I'm so not normal in terms of games. Where the hell am I going? Okay, there. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm so off the beaten path in terms of games. I don't know anybody else that... I mean, Pushing Up Roses does retro stuff. Um, oh, thanks, you like those, Gaz. It's funny that it seemed to just be, like, the sweet spot was variety. People just don't like the same thing all the time. Oh. Shit. Alright, we're gonna throw down. Where are you, asshats? There's one. Maybe I can just drive through. Thank you, drive through. Shit, no. Go. Yeah, that's correct about Middle-earth. It's supposed to be long, long ago, but not in a galaxy far, far away. And that's why the Shannara books that are very similar to the Lord of the Rings in kind of concept, they take place after humanity is wiped out. So it's like book ending. Now we got BTs. All right. Here we go. It's interesting that 
Samwise Gamgee kind of became the um, archetype for that kind of character. Because you got Samwell Tarly. It's sort of the everyman. You got Samwell Tarly in Game of Thrones. It's a very similar type of character. And then you got Sam here. Now, I've never used this. Oh, no, that's a grenade. Oh, I love a grenade. That's not how the song goes, but that's okay. I don't know, George. The uh, stuff he did... Oh, what the hell's the name of it? I like his Landover series a lot. I liked his um, four-part Shannara series, the ones that came later. Um, the stuff he did... Running with the Demon was okay. The stuff he did trying to unify his universe was god-awful. See the, see the otter? The otter hood? Furry. Isn't that cute? Um, hmm. Like, define small. Don't move. Shit! Day after me, ma! Huck. So that assault rifle doesn't work for shit. I just have, like, shitty Facebook games for uh, that kind of stuff. Oh, I play, I play dumb shit like, um, Homescapes on Facebook. I love that game, and I know it's bad. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. We must go slow. Okay, how the fuck am I supposed to get through this without... This is... scary. That was a lot. This whole thing is scary. Okay, now how do I... 
avoid impacts. I guess I'm just gonna have to go super slow and be super careful. Are you going to paint them, George, or are you going to sell them? Definitely, definitely Amazon delivery simulator. Which actually makes me like Amazon better. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. It is just so. Sensu. Huh, new people show up when I'm on later. Okay, where the frick am I going? Oh, I gotta go that way. Oh, how am I supposed to get across here? How am I supposed to get across here without jostle jostle? Son of a gun. That's deep water. Don't want that. Maybe there? No, that's deep water. Don't want that. No! Okay, it looks like there's a, sh a sh shallows here. Yeah, this is what I'm supposed to do. Oh, screw is you is. You're gonna give it away or sell it, George? Because you can probably get some decent coin for that. All right, am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Oh, this is going to suck. Okay, I think I may have to. I have to get creative here. That's what I want. No chiral network coverage. Well, shit. Okay. stuff. No. 
There we go. Where's the other... Is it only the one? I think it's only the one. Yeah, just the one. Okay, here we go. I'm not good at careful. That, uh, that depends, Gaz. Is it abandoned wear? Or does somebody still have the license for it? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, what's this? I'm with you. <sighs> this has gotten trade difficile. No, can't go that way. Might damage it. So this didn't work. Let's get a move on. Maybe I'll just have to walk it up the other way around. I haven't checked Twitter since Friday. I've been taking a Twitter break because Twitter was being peak Twitter. Um, they, I haven't got to the point where they say it's caused by the BTs or the BTs just kind of come with the package. There's a lot more road there, meaning I should be able to go that way. Jeez, my truck's in bad shape. I'll I'll check it out, Eileen. I just for some reason a lot of people are melting down and going ragey. And uh I just had to get off Twitter because it was it was just too much. 
Like, I don't know what's going on lately that people are just losing it, but it's really bad this month. Slick. Man, this is a... Oh, no! Where's the handprints? Shit's about to get super real. Where are you? Where the fuck are you? I have a bomb on my back. You do not want to fuck with me. No! Ah, no! Here we go! And the bomb explodes. That sucked. We're gonna do that again. Because now I know not what to do. Normally all that does is it drags you into a boss fight. But because I had the bomb on my back, mistakes were made. Man, I've died twice tonight and I've not died once in this game before now. Now that she's super creepy? Yeah, I know. I love that she's kind of wearing Sarah clear. Palin glasses, weapons too. Detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. All right, I need to dump this cargo. Do not want. Yeah, it does because it's not real life. In real life, I would be like, no, get away. But it's a good character, like... I like it when games let female characters be just as messed up as the guys. What? No, we're on a deadline all. Come on. Yeah, exactly. And I love how there's like no mention of the father anywhere. Like it's just not important. Doesn't matter, not relevant to the story. It's her story. going around the mountain
This is probably a much easier quest if I complete the freaking roads first, but who knows? Who knows? Who knew? Let's do less road, less traveled by this time. Yeah, BB's happy. BB's voice comes out of your controller. So you hear your controller laughing. All right, this is fuck it up in this. Everybody just stay where you are. Don't mind me. There's a bomb on the bus. You are shooting at a bomb, you morons. Oh, hey, I missed this before. Because I wasn't getting shot at before. Leave me the F alone. Now, what happens if I go here? Maybe this is the right way. Yeah, this is speed stranding. Okay, everybody chill. This seems like a better route. Okay, what did I do? It was just a little tiny bump. I am going slow. Like, can you imagine, like, showing up, like, Hey dudes, I have a bomb! Who wants it? This... should not... This should go on foot from here on in. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Alright. Do I have any just plain ladders? Yes, I do. Right. Wait. I want to put you... Why did you not go on the carrier? There we go. On carrier. Here we go. Can I save now? Yes. This, uh... This is definitely a save early, save, op save often kind of game. Ah, shit. See, if I didn't have to worry about the precious, I could take my truck up here, but I'm not going to chance it. What, is the switch, um, fragile?
Yeah, the Joy-Cons are... One of my sets of Joy-Cons I've never had a problem with. The one that came with the Switch, the, the grayish-black pair, every so often just decide not to sync with it. Oh, another song! Oh, BB likes a song. Am I going the right way? Kind of. What? What just happened? I barely use the uh, memory stick drive because um, I download the games I buy. Sounds like they just compromised on durability for cost in a few places. Biggest problem I have is with um, interference when playing in uh, dock mode. Yeah, me and my bomb going for a walk. It's an indie game. Me and my bomb. Keep walking and no one explodes. <laughs> I know I've used that joke a million times, but it's truth. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, how close is my dock? Um, I don't know, eight feet, ten feet? kind of moments in this game feel very Miyazaki. Oh, so yours is super close to you? Here we are! Made it! Woohoo! Now get this away from me! So maybe it's a range thing? Healer doesn't work in this case because it's uh, the, the valves. Are, they gave me a bullshit reason where a healer won't work. Take your stupid bomb! Yeah, this scene is the bomb. I still got a plane here! It sounds like something I'd like. Just... Oh, another one of these... Anti-social people. Yeah, awesome is you're right. Alright, so now I can go back get my truck. Alright, but I'll, uh... The what? hell do you think you're doing, Bridges? That network you're building is carrying some nasty Thanks, stuff. Judger. Stuff nobody would want anywhere near them. I thought you people would figure that out You're rude. Now. We want no part of your chiral network or the All right. CA. That voice. Is that you, Mama? Uh, you hit your head there, Mama? I'm not yours, and yours is not What no is going on? Alright, enough games, Mama. <laughs> I don't think you heard me, mister. Mountain Mama just got crazier. You and the UCA to take a hike. You people keep doing what you're doing, and you're gonna put us right back on the road to the Death Stranding. We didn't ask for you to come and tell us how to You know my lives. parent. We'll decide that for ourselves, thank you very much. All we want from you is the occasional delivery. Nothing else. So you speak for the city. 
That's right. Uh, the name's Lochner. Lochner? Hold up, I, I need to talk to you. You're a It's a pretty cool vest. Right? Look, go home. Oh, because so I need to help her. Listen to me, damn it. I need your help. Well, we don't need yours. Maybe please. Mama's a clone. You're only making things worse. Sorry you had to deal with that, Sam. She's no, that's another game. There, and she's not afraid to lay down the law. We need her, and we need her people. We've lost too many others as it is. Without Mountain Knot City, the Chiral Network and the UCA will never be complete. What now? So, here's the thing. Sam. Lock ah, there we Mama's go. Twin sister. Mama didn't tell me that. Former Bridges One. Went west with the others. Second group, just like Mama. Mama's not her real name, of course. That'd be Malingan. Both have dooms and both are scientific okay. geniuses. Mama's primary field of expertise is applied physics. Lochna's is theoretical. Mama designed the Cupid hardware. Lochna yeah, Mama told me that software. part. They said they could converse over any distance. Said they had a special bond that led them. I don't know how that's possible, but I'll tell you this. There wouldn't be a chiral network All right. without them. They were so close that some said they were like one person in two bodies. Might be why they were able to develop the Cupid. But they had a falling out after Molingen's accident. Lochna left bridges and cut off all contact with us. I don't know what happened between them. But if we don't bring Lochna around, our plans to make America whole again... All right, finished. coercion. Not that I'm asking you to stick your nose in their personal business. Though if you did, it might help us figure out how to bring Lochna around. Which would be great. Because our plans to make America whole again are finished without her. In the meantime, if you've got any bright ideas, feel free to give them a shot. Good work. All right. Check the shorts. I'm going to go back and get my truck. All right, so I will call it for the night there. Like I promised. I went uh, over three hours tonight. That's a long one for me. All right. So uh, thanks, everybody. I think I'm going to do uh, tomorrow's video on that uh, conversation we had about awards and like and like and like and, like and comparativeness. Um, unless anybody has anything else that are ideas. Where's my truck? Where the hell's my truck? All right. We like that. We like that type of thing. Why RE2 should win. Alright. Alright. As I turbo run with my cool speed demon exoskeleton. And time fall rain. Whoa! Okay, slowing down. Not his best skill. All right. BB likes going fast. Um, so I'll do the video on that for tomorrow. And I'll have to figure out a Patreon jingle. Because <laughs> that's the problem with varying it up. Is thinking up a new one every single time. I got a brief one to guys and dolls. Oh, you left me one? Where'd you leave it, Eileen? Did you leave it on Patreon? Okay, the last Patreon video? Okay, awesome. I will check there. As long as I know where to look, that's cool. Um, so that, that will save me having to think one up. Patreon? Patreon. Does that, does that count? 
it's not a show tune, but I think it kind of does. Oh, there's my truck. Yay. Yay, truck, I missed you. Let's find out what shit shape you're in now. No, don't wipe out. Okay. What, like the My Little Pony theme? Join my Patreon, join my Patreon. What will this week's video be? There you go. Join my Patreon, join my Patreon. You will get exclusive vids to see. You know what the only My Little Pony musical rem number I remember from back in the day is? Is the Sea Pony song. You know, shoo be doo shoo shoo be doo Call on the sea ponies when you're in distress, distress. You know that one? I haven't seen very much of the new stuff. I only know it from old ponies. I was OP original, no, OP original pony fan. That song was Earworm. Now how do I get where I'm going? I better figure that out. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to build freaking roads. All right, everybody. I will, uh, I will check it out. I will check out Eileen's song, and I will do the video on that. Now I have happy music because it's not raining. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. Good chat.